Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's shave, we are using my Parker. And now this is just a beautiful razor. This is the best silver steel, and that is Swedish steel. All right, this is Japanese made. It is quarter hollow and just a fine shaver. Yes, it is. Now, for our soap tonight, we are using Sterling Soap Company, and this is Gatlinburg. Now, for me, this is like being out in the woods in the fall. And I am so happy that we're in the fall. So we are going to be using that tonight. Now for my brush, I'm using my Omega 10,098. Excellent brush. And I've had that puck blooming just like normal. We're going to put that on as pre-shave. So we made it to the wonderful Wednesday shave of the day. I hope you guys are having a great week. Yep. And the world's treating you good. And you're well. Yep. That'll be good. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I really enjoyed the answers from the last question of the day. That was really interesting. And I've pretty much uh, now gone to shaving every other day. So if you check out the Sunday shave of the day, you'll know what I'm talking about. But every other day is when I'm shaving now. And Actually, I think it's working better for me instead of waiting because uh, for me, I think it helps uh, my skin. It, after three to four days, it starts getting uh, like not used to shaving and that does kind of, I get more bumps, I think, and surgically remove them, but it's okay. No big deal. All right. And now we are getting our lather on. Oh yeah, check that out. That is good. So, let me clean up around the bowl. All right. I'm gonna put most of that on the brush. Take the rest, get it on me, nice. Now, I am kind of toying with an idea, and I want to bounce it off of you. So now, the question of the day is, should I continue running my graphic intro, or just skip right to where I start talking? Go ahead and put your comment down low, and that would be helpful. Now, you can also answer the question up here as well. So, whichever way you're more comfortable, go ahead and do it, and that'll be fine. I'm just trying to, I'm toying with the idea of taking it off, taking off the graphic interface, uh, off the intro. Now, if you really like it, then by all means, I will keep it. If not, you know, we can take it out. So let me know what you think. All right. Now, this is pass one. And that's primarily going to be with the grain. All right. Go ahead and kind of clean that up a little bit. There we go. 
Now, let's do this. Yeah, look at this. Isn't that great? Now, I always tend to mix up the Sterling Soap Company soaps uh, a little wetter than I do anything else. And I'm not sure. I think it has to do with their formulation. I do basically the same exact lather every single time, but the formulation on the soap just gives me a wetter lather. There we go. First half done. Now we're switching hands. Going to do the other half. Okay. And remember, always stretching. Get a little bump there. I am trying something new right there with uh, the heel of the razor to uh, get that section right in there. So I may have overdone it just a little bit this time. 
No big deal though. It'll be fine. Yeah, I gotta tell you, really, really enjoy this Parker. It is just a excellent razor. They knew what they were doing when they made that one. That is new old stock. So, it uh, just had never been used. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, just got a little close right there. Not a big deal though. Not gonna hurt a thing. Nope. Okay, there we go. Now, I do Shave of the Day videos on Wednesdays and Sundays, so check in with me and you can go ahead and follow my shaves. Now, this is going to be across the grain on my neck, against the grain on my cheeks. There we go, get that washed off, and I am going to just put some soap on that. That's going to help, it really will. Yep, okay, now we're switching hands, going to do this other side. Switching up that handle.
All right, looking good. All right. Yeah, so whenever you're shaving, go ahead and try new angles, different things. See if you can get a better shave. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, but you have to try. That way you'll find out what works and what doesn't work, all right? Now, let's get that cleaned off. Oh yeah, oh those cheeks are brilliant. Yes they are, nice, all right, really good. Okay, next is the half pass. Now this is just going to be my jawline and neck. All right, all I'm doing is I'm going to primarily be doing an against the grain on my jawline and my neck. And that is going to finish off this shave brilliantly. And I will be set. Oh yeah. All right, looking good. Now, I also do Friday specials, okay, on the first and third Friday of each month. Now, in the description or in the comments, you could ask questions or give me ideas for Friday specials. I am always on the hunt for them, and I really need some, all right? If you are enjoying the Friday specials, go ahead and give me some questions, give me some ideas for more Friday specials to come. All right, so I'm gonna reach around now with my ear and grab it like that with my hand and this is how I do this. You know, for me, I haven't found a better way. Nice, really nice.
There you go. Another shave in the books. Yes. All right. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to get that washed off. Oh, yeah. Nice. Brilliant. Excellent shave. Excellent. All right. So now, alum everywhere. And dry that off and that spot is fine no big deal all right now for aftershave there's lavender witch hazel just brilliant excellent stuff really nice good for the skin and I just put that everywhere Absolutely everywhere. Yep. And for our cologne tonight, this is Clubman Musk. Excellent. This is going to be good. Yeah, I always like this. This you don't need much, but it is nice. Oh, yeah. Good. Good, good, good. Now, to top this shave off, Nivea Post Shave Balm. Yep, taking care of that skin. There you go. Nice. All right. You can click right up here to see the best one pass shave for beginners. All right. So good to have you here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Really appreciate you. Click right over here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video, especially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.